Hey everybody, it's Mr. G with a quick tutorial on how to use Pivot Stick Figure Animator. I will probably be posting a link somewhere in the video um, or text that will tell you where you can go to get the program, but it's called Pivot Stick Figure Animator. And um, we're going to get started with the basics here. You have uh, the, basically everything pivots on a point. So I can grab any of these individual uh, dots. You have red dots and orange dots. The orange dot moves the entire object. In this case, it's a stick figure guy. And the red dots uh, pivot uh, things attached around the orange dot. So I have these attached around that and this around that. We got a guy. Okay, to animate. The basics are you click add frame. Boom, I've added a frame. Now I'm going to move him a little bit, him or her. Add frame. I'm hitting the space bar. And the space bar, now you can use the space bar that you, you can free up your other hand. I'm going to adjust this a little bit, maybe have him lean up like he's going to, maybe he's going to fly or something. I don't know. Sure, why not? And if you know anything about animating, little movements uh, tend to look more realistic. Depending on what you're, I guess it depends on what you're doing. Um, in this case, I'm going to have him Superman off the screen. He's going to eventually get his arms straightened out. I keep adjusting his arms a little bit at a time, kind of imagining where his body would be in the next picture. And then he's going faster, so I'm going to move him farther and then off the screen. And I'm going to hit, now I'm going to hit play. And it plays it back. Now I can change the speed that it plays back by taking this little slider. And the speed that I want to do it at, I'm going to kind of animate it roughly 10 frames per second. Um, a lot of animators will use different different speeds. Um, there's a lot you can do. Um, there's so much you can do. To delete a frame, if you don't like a frame or you, you want to try it again, um, you can use the, uh, uh, let's see, can I use the arrow? Oh, you can use the little arrow, not the arrows, but it's by the M key on your keyboard, um, right next to the letter N, M, and then you have these two like arrow uh, brackets, and you can control this, and you can sort of watch your animation back and forth like this using using those keys you can delete any frame by hitting the red x up here and it'll say do you want to delete the selected frame yes i do um i can duplicate copy those selected frames i'm like oh i, want, I like that and i'm going to paste it so i have that doubled okay then i can hit play and it will play that twice i can slow this down so you can see that i can turn the loop off so that when it finishes playing it stops the loop I can add another figure and he will appear for one second. He's like there for one second because it's at the very beginning. Um, I can change the color of the figure by clicking on that. Ooh, he's all orange now. Add frame, add frame, add frame, add frame, add frame. Play. There's the orange guy. He's invisible and he goes away. Um, and there you go. There's the basics. There's the first things you need to get started with Pivot. You got a guy, you got some pivot points, you hit the add frame and you move it around. There you go. Have fun.